Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 18th of 2023. Well, it is titled Milky Way above La Palma Observatory. So what do we see here? Well, here we see in the foreground a number of telescopes on uh, on Earth. And this is at the La Palma Observatory, which is in the Canary Islands in Spain. So let's label these telescopes as well as some objects in the sky and see what's here. Well, we see a couple of different telescopes, which include the magic telescopes, and you can see magic one to the left and magic two in the middle. And you can see the Galileo National Telescope there off on the horizon, and the LS telescope LST off over to the right hand side. And we also see the Grand Canarian Telescope off in the distance there. Now this is one of the largest telescopes and has about a 10 meter mirror. So much larger than Hubble Space Telescope by about a factor of four and larger even than the James Webb Telescope out in space. Of course, it's easier to build a large telescope here on the ground than it is to put one up in space. But you do have the disadvantage of having to look through the atmosphere. And it's put together and made so large by using different hexagonal segments. And that way you can put a larger mirror together by building smaller mirrors and putting them together. And that saves trying to cast one gigantic mirror that would be 10 meters across. Now up in the sky, we see a number of different things, including a few constellations located near the plane of our Milky Way. And you do see the Milky Way stretching diagonally from the upper left down toward the lower right. And that is our galaxy as we see it from within. On the left side of the of this is the constellation of Sagittarius. And you see outlined the teapot of Sagittarius, which is an asterism within the constellation itself. Off the peak of the uh, the spout of the teapot is very close to the center of our galaxy. So that's one way to locate the center of our galaxy. On the right hand side, we see the constellation of Scorpius the Scorpion and above that Ophiuchus. And those are two other constellations that happen to be relatively close to the plane of our Milky Way. We also see a large number of nebulae here, a lot of reddish colored nebulae, and the red nebulae are, are what we call emission nebulae. They are caused by hydrogen gas excited by stars that have formed within our galaxy. The bluer color are reflection nebulae, and we see a couple of those off to the right over in Scorpius. That is dusty material around young stars that is caused that it, that glows by reflection of light. It scat the dust scatters the light, and the blue light is preferentially scattered. The yellowish nebula now around Antares also off to the right hand side there. Uh, that is another type of reflection nebula, but a more unusual one giving a distinct yellow color as compared to the typical blue blue color associated with the ordinary types of reflection nebulae that we see. So here with all the telescopes in the foreground and all of the our galaxy plus a number of nebulae up in the sky, we get to see our picture for today. So that was our picture of the day for July 18th of 2023. It was titled Milky Way above La Palma Observatory. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.